Hello and welcome to Streets of Gotham, an ongoing Blades in the Dark game following a crew of Gotham City rogues. We're playing a simplified version of Blades in the Dark with a special Gotham City playset. I'm your game master and producer this evening, David, he, him. I'm a graphic designer, an illustrator, and a game designer. You can check out my tabletop RPGs over at dbb-8.itch.io. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter at Brutman. So, let us introduce our cast for this evening. Uh, we're going to kick it off with Marcy. Oh gosh, hi. Uh, I'm Marcy, aka Experimental Madness, which is still the username you can find me in most places around the internet, except for Twitter, where I remain the resident cryptid, but technically I'm there under the username Marciful. You'll see that my last tweet was like three years ago. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm a writer and editor by day and by night. I play awesome characters with these awesome people. And tonight I'm back once again playing Jackie Ripley, your friendly neighborhood hit woman and Harvey Dent's girlfriend. Amazing. Let's continue around clockwise to Hopper. Oh, that's me. Hey, what's up? I'm Hopper. Um, what's up? Uh, I am a pro GM and arborist based out of Brooklyn, New York. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I, you can find me on most places online under Fail Deadly. That is with a three instead of an E, because as always, I'm a bad person and uh, everybody should know that. Um, you can also find my other work under the Legend Tree. Um, but uh, and I'm returning tonight uh, playing uh, Ollie. Oleander, the totally fine, totally normal, completely chill, uh, personal driver to one poison ivy. If I can confess, so can you. I believe in you. Confess what? I don't know what you're talking about. Impossible. Hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. That's me. Hello, everybody. I am Pooja. I am back playing Mammy Quinn, who is so happy to see love flourishing. It's great. We love it. Um, yeah, they. she's got her eyes on Ollie, you know, watching to see what they do. Um, if not, we may have to have a talk. If we have time to have a talk. But I can also see... Uh, Ollie, all I'm saying is just try not to get stuck alone with Manny and Harley, because uh, they're big proponents of being true to your heart. All right. So, yeah, uh, you know, we got we got some uh, we got some tasty morsels set up here uh, and uh Maybe some people who are going to badger other people into doing things emotionally. Who can say? Who can say? This is our promise here on Streets of Gotham. So with that, let's get into it. Uh, I'm going to see. I have a new music method. We're going to see if it works. It did work. Great. So... We are going to jump right back to where you were at the end of last session. You are on the second floor of the physical plant in the central HVAC facility for Arkham Island. Um, you are in this, uh, this old brick-walled industrial loft with these huge arch windows. It's filled with snaking pipes, ductwork, the hum of these huge fans, the rattle of industrial machinery. Outside, Halloween night has fallen, and we hear the gentle tap of rain on the windows in the darkness outside. It's a bunch of guys knocked out on the floor here uh, in burlap hoods and gas masks, courtesy of one Batman. Uh, and the heavy pressurized tanks that uh, these guys had brought in um, are still partially jury rigged to the various air pumps and HVAC machinery here. And over in the, the sort of back corner of the room, uh, we have Batman and Poison Ivy 
uh, I think sitting uh, together at um, uh, maybe uh, some sort of control station or desk uh, somewhere where there's there's a bit of a surface uh, and kind of putting their heads together, trying to synthesize this fear gas antidote that uh, they want to develop. Your goal, meanwhile, while they do that, is to get to Scarecrow in Arkham Manor, uh, which is uh, also the island's central administration building. Take him out and get that main gate open from central control so that you can finally escape from Arkham Island. Um... Milling about here, we also have, uh, of course, Harley Quinn uh, and Harvey Dent, who you have busted out uh, of the high security facility uh, and brought along with you. And I want to get, I want to know what you're doing for your final prep before y'all head back out onto the island and go for that administration building and Jonathan Crane. So let's just go around quickly. Um, We'll go in reverse order from the top. Start, uh, let's start with Manny. Manny, what what are your preparations here? Um, Manny is... We never really figured out what those the bandolier of grenades did. So I think Manny is probably just working with Harley and getting gear ready. Yeah. And trying to figure out maybe take the things off the bandolier and see who all kind of spread it out. How many how many items are on the bandolier? Uh the bandolier, it's just these uh it's just these um, canisters, right? With, you know, canisters with pins. Um, Mm -hmm. and I think you probably have about four of them. Okay. So if anybody wanted one, like maybe to split them up just cause tactics. (laughs) Yeah. You can certainly distribute brain cell. I should not be asked to do this. Um, I mean, if you're offering weapons, Jackie is not going to say no to taking at least one of those. Yeah, well, I meant more for, like, you know, folks who didn't have weapons. If, well, Manny is not offering Harvey anything without Jackie. Um, but, yeah, we'll give, probably give one to Jackie, one to all, Ollie, and then um, Harley can keep the other two. Cool. All right, so mark that uh, y'all have access to that. Uh, to check off on your gear list later if you want to. Uh, so I think, you know, you're you're sort of uh, working on this, uh, uh, this stuff with Harley, um, and uh, she, um, you know, let's say you're, you're in one corner of the room, and she's sort of, like, um, digging through... Uh, there's like a toolbox that somebody left here uh, mm-hmm. and and trying to, to find something that has enough sort of length and heft uh, for, for her uses. Uh, uh, but she keeps kind of like turning and glancing over to Batman and Poison Ivy. And uh, she, she turns to you, Manny, uh, and says... I don't know, babe. Doesn't sit right with me. What well, part? I, I ain't sure that we should leave them alone. I, I mean, leave Ivy alone with the bat. W- what do you think's gonna happen? I don't know. It's it's freaking Batman. I don't trust him. I mean, yeah, I don't I don't trust him either. But. How many times has he busted Ivy before, huh? I I actually don't know, but my guess is a lot. Yeah, but a lot. A lot. But he's also busted 
every single one of us, babe. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, we peace out of here, go after this crane guy. Uh, maybe he just turns around and I don't know what. I mean, I guess the, the worst thing he can do is put her back in Arkham, but, you know, we we did kind of have to do a whole thing to get her out. Well, yeah, I know, but we also can't get out without him. No, we can't. I don't like it. Because, like, he's, yeah, I don't like it either. I don't I don't like old Owen that grump anything. Well, nah. if anything, he owes us, so... Having to rely on the bat? It don't sit right. It feels gross, doesn't it? It's like, what's next? Getting, like, Christmas cards from him? Feels feels a bit weird. Listen, if a Christmas card shows up at my address from the bat, I am going to be freaked the fuck out, okay? Because that means he knows my address, and uh, <laughs> I didn't give it to him. No, but I'm pretty sure he knows our address, babe. Oh my god! I freaking like, hate I mean, it. You, would would you put it past him, past it for him to like show up in our window one night and be like, "I need your help with something." Mm, no, that's exactly what he would do. But you know what? If a card shows up from Batman, how about this? We'll burn it. Okay, deal. Yeah, just. Listen, this is a temporary alliance. Once we're out of here, we're going back to doing what we do. And let him do whatever he does. Yeah, all right. We don't need to be anybody that hangs out around cops that much. I just feel like, I don't know, should I stay here and keep an eye on him? I'm worried about no. Ivy, babe. I mean, listen... I, I, she, I know you're worried. Yeah, she and I got history, but she's still my friend, okay? I know, I know. This isn't about that. I totally get it. Uh, but I'm just worried about old Grumpus over there being like, ooh, now I got two of them. Let me put them both back in our... You know, like, <laughs> call me selfish, but... I have been, I spent my, like, half the day trying to get to you. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, and then if I'm here, you're going to be out there with that nut job. And then I'm going to be worried about you. And if I'm out there, I'm oh. going to be worried about Ivy. Yeah. Well, you know, there is a solution to all this. Come with me. And unleash a can of whoop ass on that nut job. It feels better when we do. You know that. Yeah, I just need like a good, I don't know, there's some, There's got to be something in here. And she's starting to like throw tools out of this toolbox. <laughs> Dung, ding, ding, ding. Uh, Manny, uh, it sounds like you were trying to sway Harley to come yes. with you. So Come with me. Let's have a sway action to okay. see if you can uh, convince her to tag along here mm -hmm. or if she's going to stay behind in the physical plant and uh, keep watch over Ivy. Um, Do I get advantage for love? <laughs> uh, I mean, under normal circumstances, she has a level on you. Uh, but I'm going to say... Uh, it, it feels weird to bring that in. So let's say your advantage for love is you're rolling flat. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> That's fair. To start. Oh, no. That is very bad. I rolled a three and a one. Ooh, okay. But, I mean, wait, no. Yes, yes. I only have, to, I have two pips in sweat. That's it. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, uh... Harley's, Harley's kind of digging around and uh, she's like, oh, wait a second. Uh, and she takes a wrench, uh, uh, you know, like a big plumber's wrench uh, <laughs> out of the one of a size that only exists in cartoons and comics for some reason. Close. Uh, 
uh, out of the <laughs> out of the toolbox uh, and leans over to the wall and just undoes a a nice length of pipe uh, <laughs> from the from the wall. Sort of brings back this. Uh, it is it, it is almost the exact uh, uh, length and diameter as a baseball bat. Uh, and she kind of hefts it in her hand and she's like, oh yeah, baby, come to mama. Uh, and she kind of twirls it around. Oh, that's got some good weight to it. Uh, and sort of whips it back over her shoulder, turns around to you um, and says, listen, mini muffin. I think I got to stay here. Like I said, I'm going to worry about you every second. But I know you're going to be with Ollie and Jackie and I don't know, maybe Javi's going. She sort of looks askance at uh, at Dent, uh, who is, I think, kind of uh, kind of glowering against the the wall as he watches everybody's preparations here. Uh, He's clearly like. He's clearly uncomfortable with this situation. Um, and uh, Harley turn, turns back to you and says, I got to keep an eye on her. She's weak. All right. Yeah. I got no idea what they did to her in that hospital. OK. And all right. She's my friend. I know you you protect her from the big bad growly man and listen if it comes down to it hit him on the head. Oh yeah. And she knocks the pipe against her shoulder. Bonk bonk. That's <laughs> what this that's what this boy's for. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I want to see you in one piece and we're going to get out of here together, okay? Yeah. Stay safe, sweetheart. Yeah. Um, and she leans forward uh, and puts a hand on your cheek uh, and brings you in for a kiss. Ollie! (laughs) Sorry. Yes? What are your preparations looking like? Um, I think Ollie is patching together the kind of thoroughly damaged remnants of this um of this body armor that uh they lifted off is this the guard that they stabbed with the spork I'm trying to remember the the original body armor i believe yeah. so yes yeah i think <clears throat> this is still that same uh that same body armor i think uh helmet is now gone yep. um but the but the actual like body armor itself is still there um, and I, it's been shot, it's been stabbed, it's been gone through a serious car accident. It's, uh, it's had some, uh, it's had some traumatic things happen to it. Um, I think Ollie's just slapping duct tape all over it. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Um, is, do you want to talk to anybody at this juncture? Yeah, I think um <sighs> Yeah, all he wants to talk to the Batman. Okay. Uh so you approach uh and you know, you can see that he uh he and Ivy are in a um uh, a somewhat uh, intense, like biochemistry discussion uh, uh, about the the formulation of this uh, this anecdote, um, and you know he obviously he sees you approach uh, and looks over to the side where you're coming from. Doesn't say anything, but oh, he's, he's looking at you. Wait for them to not be talking. For a second, like wait for the uh, natural break in the uh, break in the um, discourse. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you know he he concludes, uh, or you know I think he's he's actually listening to to Ivy uh, make a point uh, about 
you know, uh, uh, well, detective, we have to use the left-handed version of this molecule. You just say the left-handed version of this molecule, David. That's some comic book shit and it hurts my soul. Um, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I think, um, Oh no, left-handed it, and right-handed molecules are real. Is that a real thing? Oh, yes. I'm not a chemistry person. What the fuck? Oh yeah. Who, t- who made that decision? <laughs> it's not how perspective works. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, God, that upsets me. That's like people who are like, yeah, you know, it's to the left of this one thing. And I'm like, sir, you are describing an entire park to the left is not helpful. Uh, Um, But yeah, she she uh, concludes that. uh, And, you know, Batman nods like Batman nods and looks over to you. I think um, I I think Ollie just kind of goes, can I uh, get a moment? With Ivy? Sure. And he sort of moves to back up. I think, you know what? I'll allow it. Um, I think, uh, you know what? Catch him on the backswing. Okay. I think he he's just misinterpreted the situation. So he... That's, uh, that's fair. Uh, he backs up. Uh, and I think we'll say, uh, not too long, if you don't mind. We're on a timeline. Yeah, sure. The, so you got a bat watch or something. Uh, is it? Does it give like a little bat signal when the time's up? Or he doesn't. Again, you know, he doesn't say anything. He just turns around uh, and and walks off uh, a little bit of distance. Um, I think he's gonna like maybe. Uh, start undoing do some calibrations. Yeah, he's got to go do some calibrations. He's going to start like undoing some of the um the tanks that are that are hooked up to the various um uh you know, air units here. And uh Ivy uh leans back in her in her chair, crosses her arms. I hate to admit it, he's a decent chemist. is his background. As far as I know, he just dresses up like a gimp and punches people. Yeah, I thought it was mostly that at first, too. And then he says things. And it's not clear where this stuff is coming from. I'm not the uh, psychologist, I guess. Um, I'm sure Holly's got some very interesting uh, insights into whatever's going on with that. Oh, yes. We've shared a theory or two. Um, so, are you are you sure you can trust them? <laughs> no. It's Batman, Ollie. Of course I can't trust him. But he's our want? only ticket out of here. Yeah. That's that's kind of where we ended up too. What do you want me to do if he turns on us? What do you think I want you to do, Ollie? Whatever is necessary. That's my driver. Um I'll, uh, this shouldn't take too long and then we'll be back. Um, but, uh, I'm, I was really scared, Doc, I, when I found you in the creepy little operating chamber. It, are you, are you okay? She kind of stares into the middle distance for a moment. Um, you get the sense that she's essentially contemplating whether to be truthful with you or not. <sighs> Let's have a fortune roll. Um, let's do a fortune roll with your... I'm going to say insight, I think. Okay. So down your down your insight column. 
That's a one. Okay. That is a two on the dice. Two. Ollie, sweetheart, I'm fine. You don't have to worry about me. Uh, uh, yeah, I know, Doc. Um, but, you know, I just... I want to make sure we everybody gets out of here. I know you will. I know you will. Um, we'll be back soon. Yeah. I'll see you in a bit. Uh, well, let's go, uh, fuck up this... Uh, what's his... Uh, do you, wait, do you know this guy? <sighs> Dr. Crane and I have crossed paths a couple of times. Yeah. Is he an actual doctor? Because he spouts a lot of stuff, but also... Oh, he's an actual doctor, all right. Ugh. Yeah, be careful of doctors, Ollie. We're all slippery. And, uh, well... That's, uh... It's part of the charm, I guess. But with him, it's less of charm and more of uh, a deep, deep aggravation. Get in a good punch or two for me, huh? Absolutely. I'll be back before you know it. And as you turn to walk away, she says, Ollie. Thanks. For getting me out of there. It's my job. And she looks over to Batman, kind of nods him back over. And they will resume, uh, or Batman will come back over. I know you wanted to talk to him as well. So he, he's going to come back over uh, and uh, he'll say, all right, back to work. I think Ollie will very lean in very close. <laughs> And do something really stupid. Um, hi, I would like to threaten the Batman. Okay. Have yeah, fun. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> We're going to make this take as little time as possible. But I know what you think of us, and I know what you think of this place this little system you're fucking propping up. And if you if you hurt her or you put in her, her in a position to be hurt, I will burn this city to the fucking ground. You feel me? Understood. Thanks for the three days. He nods. And then turns back to Ivy at the table. Uh, yeah, Ollie goes back and joins the group. All right. Jackie. Yeah. What are you up to for your uh, preparations here? Um, Jackie's taking this opportunity to clean, uh, the gun that she got, as well as scrounge around for some more ammo, or possibly more guns, if she can find them. <laughs> um, yeah, she's just taking stock of all of the firearms that she can get her hands on. Okay, I mean, I don't think there's anything in here that you actually don't already have. No. Um, you know, the, um... Scarecrow's goons in uh, in the physical plant were also armed with the same, like, a couple of them have submachine guns. Uh, there's definitely a few people who just had the, the gas tanks. Um, I think there's more guys here, so there, there are probably a couple of people who are just armed with, like, 
a miscellaneous handgun or just have like some brass knuckles or uh, a bat or something. So I I am going to take those brass knuckles. Yeah, sure. You, I've you got can... the firearm. I'm feeling that I'm going to. Yeah, Jackie's going to just pocket that. OK, cool. Cool. Uh, yeah, you can definitely do that. Other other than that. Uh, it's, it's basically the same sort of stuff that you've been finding on the other, the other goons as you've been taking them out. Um, you can certainly, uh, load up on, uh, on clips if you want. I think in addition to that, she, she is, I know we haven't been mechanically counting bullets, but you know, story, story wise, absolutely. The speech needs to top up. Okay. Yeah, totally. Totally. So you can, you can do that. Um, and, uh, yeah, you're, uh, I mean, <laughs> you're basically, uh, yeah, you're just, you're just loading yourself up here. Yeah. Um, yeah, she's, she's been off her game mo- since she got, uh, initially drugged. And while the effects have worn off, the paranoia has stuck around. So she's just whatever she can get her hands on. She feels like she needs it. Mm hmm. Um, you're, uh, you know, you're, you're sort of getting every, like stuffing things into your pockets, uh, and like, uh, you know, you might find like a belt or a bandolier that you can clip stuff onto, you're sort of getting that stuff on and you kind of feel a presence, uh, looming, uh, off to the side and you turn to see Harvey Dent standing next to you. Uh, he looks agitated. Uh, you, um, you can see he has, um, his, his, uh, he's got his arms crossed and he, he, he's in that pose where he's, he clearly has something clutched in, uh, in one of his hands that he's kind of fidgeting with, but trying not to. Uh, and you catch like a little glimpse, uh, a little flash of silver between his fingers as he fidgets. Uh, hey, um, Jack, can I talk to you for a moment? Yeah, I was, uh, I was just gonna come find you. Mm. What's up? Are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't. Um, but I have to. Do you? If it means getting us out of here, then then there's no choice. I don't know, Jackie. I just... It's dangerous out there. It's real dangerous. Oh, man. I missed you. I mean, you. I can't remember the last time you said something like that to me. Yeah, neither can I. But I'm thinking about it now. I know it's dangerous. But, uh, what part of my uh, life hasn't been dangerous? Harvey, really? doesn't mean you have to keep doing it. What if this is the last time? What if... That's what I'm worried about. I don't mean it that way. Look... When... I had a lot of time to think while being here. When I got out of here, my plan was to come find you I I had a whole speech planned and everything and it was terrible but uh I have to get out of here I can't I can't stay here I, I don't even know if Miri's still alive it's been so long and if doing this one thing is gonna make the difference between me being in a cell 
and me being free, there is only one choice. I can't come with you. Oh, thank God. I was gonna ask, I was gonna ask at you, that you stay. I thought you were gonna fight me on it. I can't fight. I know. I don't want you to put yourself in that situation. And I don't want you to get hurt. And I don't trust the bat, but he'll do a better job of protecting you than I think that I can right now. He, he's looking over at Batman. He and I go way back. Even after all this. I trust him to look out for me. It's weird to say, given some of what's happened, but I, I trust him to look out for me. You know, this part of me. Even if he has to fight the other part. That's not going to happen. It's not. I mean, look, I know it's not easy, but uh, you just tell, you know, you just tell him that uh, I'll do the protecting for both of us from now on. He doesn't need to come out while I'm here. It's not the sort of thing he likes to hear. I know. He's got feelings for you too, Jackie. <laughs> well, if he does, then maybe he'll do this thing for me. If he can't do it for you. Negotiation. Or maybe. Uh, and he, you know, takes the. You can see the coin in his hand. Or maybe. No. No, we gotta talk this one through. For real. Can't be left up to chance. You have no idea how happy I am to hear you say that. I mean, all, all of this. I've, um... I was worried for a long time that when you wanted to get better, when you really did, the first thing you would do would be to put me in Blackgate or Arkham. I still don't know if you might. No, I... I don't know how to describe it. I'm not him, I'm not the other half of me. But... I'm... I'm not that guy you met. back at your sister's bakery when I was the DA. Not him either, now. Somebody else. Third person. <laughs> I know, that's a lot of people floating around. But uh, sometimes you People change. You can't go backwards. Sometimes you slip into something that feels like it was, and then you realize that this is something else. I don't know. I'm talking nonsense. No, I don't. I don't think it's nonsense. I mean, I, <laughs> I don't really know 
what's going to happen when I get out of here either. I don't really know who that Jackie is going to be. I mean, I barely know what this Jackie is right now. Um, whoever she is, I want to meet her. We'll take care of this. And, uh, you know, then Kim. <sighs> Be careful out there, Jack. Really. If anything happens, I don't know that I can keep control. That's funny. I was going to say the same thing about you. All right. Listen, Javi, I am either walking back or crawling back, but either way, I am coming back to you. That I promise. The easiest promise I ever made. One of I, yeah. Never let you down. Never. And he sort of uh, wraps his arms around you and pulls you in. Uh, sort of holds you close to his chest for a moment. Yeah, I think. And Jackie just puts her arms around him and just kind of sort of thunks her her forehead into his chest and doesn't really say anything, just breathes a sigh and <sighs> Yeah. And you pull apart. Uh Batman stands from the the table, uh sort of looks over over everyone, uh and says to the room all right, you'd all better get going. Cutting off the gas supply bought us some time, but I don't want to find out what Scarecrow's next move is. Get Arkham's central control away from Crane. But remember, no more killing. Roger that. She says, well, arm to the teeth. <laughs> Yeah, he looks at you extremely skeptically. Okay. I think Ollie just stares at the Batman. <clears throat> Hi, hello. I I deal with trauma in a healthy way, as do with my characters. <laughs> like picking fights with the Batman. Alright. And the three of you break off from your loved ones and leave them in uh, the gentle and <laughs> protective wings of the bat as you head downstairs. Um, between the three of you, is there anything to discuss at this juncture? All right. <laughs> I, I think we, we know what we need to do. <laughs> I think there's just a lot of very resolute glances passed yeah. around. It's okay. like a, in, in a world where we had like lots of guns, it'd be a lot of like quiet. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, all right. So you walk back down the the stairs of the physical plant. You go back through um, that kind of first floor garage and out the um, out the the big open garage doors onto the ground uh, onto the grounds. Uh, and I want to know what your approach is 
for this. So you are trying to get over to uh, the administration building, uh, a.k.a. Old Arkham Manor, which, if you'll recall, is just off the side of the main courtyard where you had that firefight. Uh, Somewhere in that building is the central control room for the island. And as far as you know, Crane is in there. He's in control. And you have to make that situation be not that situation. So, what is your approach? Are you going in guns blazing? Are we taking a uh, are we taking a stealth approach here? Are we uh, going to do some sort of shenanigans? Uh, what? Well, you know, no matter what we say, it's going to turn into. I that mean, option. yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Are we gonna are we gonna be going past the parking garage? You can. Uh the parking garage is on the opposite <laughs> side of the courtyard. I, I think I know what you're about to say. The yeah. It's a lovely building you've got there. Would be a shame <laughs> if somebody <laughs> drove a car in front of it. Okay. Toyota Sienna part two. Great. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, uh, so I mean, yeah, I, I think, like, in character, we would probably be discussing this as we went, like, like which is, like, so loud. Uh, are we trying to sneak in? He's got cameras that fucking everywhere. I mean, yeah, like, he's been able to watch mm-hmm. our every move, practically. And we can sneak in, or we can just announce ourselves, but one way or the other, we're beating that motherfucker to a pulp. Mm-hmm. Not dead. Just Close a now. little light maiming. Yeah. So does it matter? He doesn't need his legs to live. Nope. <laughs> Thanks, narrator. <laughs> okay, so it sounds like your approach is you're going in hard. I mean, I like the car idea. So we just uh, grab one of the bigger grab an SUV. I'm sure some of these fucking prick guards have like the most souped up, jacked up, raised, fucking lifted bullshit. Oh yeah, there's bound to be one. I bet you there's, oh, I bet you, oh, there's gotta be at least three of them that have like the raised exhaust and a winch that's never been used. You're you're saying a lot of words I don't understand, Ollie. (laughs) Uh, They're pretending to be tough guys and Oh yeah. They did. They spent a lot of money to let everybody know how small the dick is. Absolutely, uh, that completely tracks. So, parking garage. All right. I Let's mean, go. I'm for it. Gives us a little extra armor too. So. Yeah. Cool shit. All right. So I want to get. Uh, we are going to uh, use an actual blades rule here. Uh, we're going to restore a rule that we have not really made use of, which is. Um, a, an opening position roll here. So mm. what I want is a fortune roll from y'all. Um, I think what makes most sense here is to um, hmm I think what makes most sense here is to use your crew level. So mm-hmm. you are level one so you're going to roll 1d6 and that is going to set your opening position for this. Who wants to roll? Who wants, who wants to do the honors? Given that I rolled a three and a one last time, not I'll me. Do it. All right. Yeah. Roll them bones. I'm feeling good. Between me and Pujo, we've got a one, a two, and a three. So. And that's a five. Five. But not terrible. All right. Not a six, but not, not at terrible. all. Not at all. So a weak or mixed success. So your, uh, yeah. So that that is going to be your your starting position is kind of kind of right in the middle, right in the middle there. Cool. All right. So um, you are. Uh, oh, this is interesting. Um, hmm. Do you know this? 
Okay. Uh, I think this is probably Ollie. Ollie, give me another. Give me another fortune roll uh, uh, with your insight. Okay, still just one. Heck. That's a six. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, so Ollie, uh, you are aware that the garage of the physical plant has an underground tunnel that connects directly to the parking garage. Love that for us. Uh, yeah. So you can actually take that back underground. Yeah, I think we're like heading for the front door and Ollie just kind of like <laughs> leans over and rips off another emergency evacuation plan. Just goes, <laughs> ah, look at that tunnel. They don't like getting their feet wet. Uh, yeah. So now the question is, do you want to take a vehicle from the parking garage or do you want to take a vehicle from here? Uh, if you go, if you take something from the parking garage, you're going to get a civilian vehicle. If you take something from this garage, you can get like, uh, I, I believe I forget the exact rundown of everything I said, but, uh, you know, there are things in here like, uh, prisoner transport vans. There are, uh, you know, uh, probably, uh, a couple of squad cars. There are probably... I mean, there, there's, well, you know, there's probably a bunch of little golf carts that they use to drive around the grounds as well. Uh, that Those are also there. Uh, I suppose they have like a, I don't know, a front end loader or anything similar. Oh, God. I mean, the prisoner transport is probably going to be pretty solid, too. I think what we really want is something with a reinforced frame. Yeah. Well, it's Gotham and prisoner it's transport prisoner for sure, transport. though. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right, I mean, the, the prisoner transport vans, like, for sure, at least have, like, the front, um, what are they, crash bars? Uh, it Whatever depends on what you're talking about. Yeah, like, you know, like, the, the, the sort of heavy-duty metal tubing that you, that oh, you would yeah. put in front of mm, a yeah. grill. I don't uh, remember what the proper term for those are. Yeah, it's like neither a, do I. It's a cow catcher, but for a big fuck-off fan. Yeah, yeah. So they definitely have that uh, if if you want to grab one of those. If you want to look for a loader, we can have another fortune roll and you can see if you can find one. It's not implausible. Oh. Oh. Yeah, let's let's do a for little fortune roll. OK, I will uh, remind you that I do have the special ability. Um, find a ride. You can always find a vehicle, yours or someone else's, in the area, immediate area, and I get an additional dice to fuck with it. Um, I don't think that that nece necessitates a specific vehicle. I just wanted to. Put no, that it's it's not going to give you a specific vehicle, but you will get that die to. Uh, all right, three. Uh, so yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I think you find like um, uh, like one of those little boys. Uh. Like you a know, little bobcat. Yeah, yeah. You you find Ring. right like one of those little bobcats with the little shovel on the front that has like the tiny cab that one person can barely fit into. Yeah, it's like tracked and moves at like a max of thirty miles an hour. I don't yeah. think it even has tracks. It it's got like you know it, it's just one of those like two wheel boys. Oh okay okay yeah, yeah no, um, yeah. Ollie just finishes looking around the garage and just goes, fan. Bam. Bam. Let's do it. All right. Uh, so you will need to hotwire this van. Uh, and that will be a tinker roll. And you do get that plus one because you, you have engaged your find a vehicle. Find a vehicle. Engaged. Oh, shit, yes. That's a well, two and a six. Okay. I mean, six does it. Uh so, um, y'all pile into the van and, uh, Ollie, you, you know, you, uh, you pull out the, uh, uh, the, um, 
the what's it the you know the the area with the fuse boxes where you where you hotwire shit the electrical control uh, module sure uh and you you know quickly and efficiently like you've done this a hundred thousand times which you have uh you know untwist that twist that together boop bop beep and vroom, 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 that van hums oh, to life I think uh, there's a dog barking or something. Can you make that noise again? <laughs> woof, woof. It's Vance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Love van you. hums to life. Uh, Ollie, you, you put your hands on the wheel, your feet on the pedals. You can feel that engine humming. Uh, this is a big boy. <laughs> and, a he, big boy. and he can do some damage. Yay. Ooh. Let's see uh, that uh, historical facade. Let's see how it handles a big boy who can do some damage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Manny. You know, the real supervillain we are creating is going to be the Arkham's uh, resident archivist. Yes. They're going to be pissed. If you're an archivist in Arkham, you already are a supervillain. Congratulations. <laughs> That's fair. That's true. Yeah. Our, our our new fa- a new faction we're gonna lose uh, we're gonna lose um, reputation with is the Arkham Historical Society or sorry <laughs> yes. the Gotham Historical Society. Yeah, they hate us now. Yeah, <laughs> there's a new gang in town, <laughs> and they are out for your blood. <laughs> it's the old history nerds. Uh, so Jackie, Manny, you uh, you pile in. Uh, I. Do you, do you get in the back or do you just like sort of all pile into the, the front of the van? <laughs> they are separate because it is a prisoner transport. I think we do. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah, because we want to get to the, the most uh, protected spot. Okay, great. So like one of you gets a seat, but one of you has to like kind of crouch down between the two seats in the front. Uh, and I'll do that. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, no. Ollie, you uh, you shift into drive uh, and you head for the uh, you head for the um, metal door that uh, indicates uh, with big spray painted letters on it to public parking. Uh, There is, I think, uh, a little um, key card scan. Uh, on the side when you get to the door uh, you have to stop scan it uh, and then the uh, metal door lifts up uh, rolls back and you can drive through uh, what is currently uh, because uh, Scarecrow has cut the lights uh, an absolute pitch black tunnel uh, but you know you got your headlights on it's fine uh, so you drive some ways down this concrete tunnel. I think there are uh, a couple more security checkpoints, uh, in here. Like you actually have to get through several layers of doors, but I don't think it creates any real impediment for you. You just sort of have to, you know, slow down, scan the card, go through, slow down, scan the card. And... Uh, in just a couple of minutes, you, uh, emerge, we see, um, the, we see a ramp down inside the parking garage, we see a, uh, another metal door roll up, uh, and then sort of coming around the curve to get up to level, uh, and then up the ramp with a bounce of headlights is our van, uh, And you are now in the parking garage. As you enter, Manny, uh, you feel a buzz in your pocket. And you take out Ed's cracked to shit (laughs) cell phone. Uh, Quickly look at it. What's going on? Which uh, dings with a text message. It says, waiting for you on the other side of the bridge. Got a ride. Car emoji. C. 
<laughs> yep. Wow. Sharing this immediately with the team. Y'all. I think, I think she, look at this, look at this. She, oh, she come back. Holy shit, she's still here. I guess, she, I guess uh, Ed didn't tell her anything. I had completely forgotten about that, given everything that had happened. Yeah, it's 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 been a it's been a night. But can you uh, text just text her back real quick and says dealing with Crane. See you soon. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. We gotta, we gotta do it. We gotta do with this. But it's like it says dealing with Crane. See you soon. With a little like uh, we uh, might have more people. Hope it's uh, a big car. Yeah. Hope it's a big car and a little like uh, salute emoji. Yep. You send that, there is uh, a beat, and then you get back a little smiley face. All right. Ollie, you're at the wheel. You're in the parking garage. What's your next move? Um, We're going to get this fucker going as fast as possible. Um. I, I think Ollie's gonna get to the point where we can rip out of the parking lot, out of the parking garage. It, do we have to make like a left turn or a right turn, or a str- or is there that fountain there? What's, uh, what's, what's yeah. between what's between me and right this so, beautiful building? You know, you know that once you come up out of the parking garage, uh, you are going to then be on that sort of circular driveway with the fountain in the center of it. So you have to, in order to get to the house, you have to kind of whip around the 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 sort of circle. Uh, I mean, it's not really a traffic circle, but you know, you have to whip around the circle here to get over to the house. Okay, I think that's doable. That's doable. Ollie's driven a lot of stuff in a lot of aggressive and egregious ways. Okay. I think uh, we're going to start this with a nice little burnout in the parking garage to really pick up, uh, to drop right in real hard and heavy. We we hear the squeal of the wheels. We smell the burnt rubber on the concrete. And uh, you whip out of this garage. You, uh, I think, take this van just launching up this ramp. Uh, the gate here arm is already destroyed thoroughly from uh, your your last parking garage excursion. Uh, and uh, are you gonna like are you gonna kind of like whip around the circle to get up to speed? Yeah, so you uh, you know you you put pedal to the metal uh, and you uh, everybody is sort of just like swung to uh, to the side uh, by uh, is it centripetal force or is it centrifugal Centri- force? Centri- uh, now that you no. said it, it sounds wrong. It's the second one though. Centrifugal. centrifugal force. I think it's centrifugal, centrifugal? force. Uh, so everybody is is mushed yeah. to the outside of the car uh, as you you spin it around and around and around and then you launch it directly at the front doors of Arkham Manor. Ollie, please give me a, a maneuver roll uh, uh-huh. to resolve this. Do I get any bonuses? Do we have a level up on a building? You're flat here. <laughs> okay, I tried. Six and a one. Six. Okay, great. Amazing. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> okay, so uh, describe to me how you just fucking launch this van up the steps of this old Victorian manor house and directly into the foyer. <laughs> so I think the, the yeah we see the we see the spinning around and around like like a spaceship trying to pick up uh, pick up uh, speed from a gravity well, and then we you watch this like chunky prison van just full force. I think uh, I, I'm just 
gonna say it's rear wheel drive now. So it literally ends up in a wheelie and just <laughs> um, skids up the steps. Just the the tires propelling it. Yeah, um, and the tires are like the are like busting apart the wooden steps as uh, as they go. Yeah, like catches a little bit of air, annihilates a statue, and then like crashes through the doors and like the the lower portion of the wall all the way up to the ceiling into the foyer. I need to, for comedy purposes, specifically have the statue be like a screaming gargoyle, like <laughs> uh, that that you just <laughs> smash through on like the banister of this. Uh, uh, of this house as, uh, you know, you, you launch up the steps. Uh, yeah. And you, you just with, with a, uh, hefty rev of engine, uh, pistons pounding under the hood. You just ram this van through the front doors of the Arkham Manor, uh, wood expensive, old wood splintering uh, around you uh, as you come to, uh, I I think you have to brake sort of immediately as, you know, your car skids across the parquet floor uh, uh, before you uh, slam into uh, the back of the foyer and just go completely through this building. Uh, Because that, you know, I mean, unless that's what you want to do. But if you don't break, that's what's happening. I mean, is there a reason not to go deeper into this building? This this is up to you. Do you want to stop here in the foyer or do you want to keep going through? I'll tell you very briefly what you catch a glimpse of uh, as you get in here. So the red emergency lights are on here. You can't see a whole lot um, in front of you directly. In, in front of you, uh, across the, the wooden floor, is um, a, uh, a sort of old-style elevator cage and uh, a staircase that sort of winds around it. That's what's at the back of the foyer. Um, and I think that's really all you have time to clock because you're going at this thing at oh, practically you know, full speed. It pretty cool all cool alike and not smash through the staircase slash okay. elevator okay cool so you you fishtail it to the side uh the the tires uh squeal and and leave just some gnarly streaks uh across the waxed wooden floorboards uh and the van lurches to a halt uh in the uh in the foyer uh, mixed success is there's guys in here for mm-hmm. sure. Um, and, uh, I think you are pretty much immediately, uh, under fire here. So, uh, you know, there are, as, as the car skids to a halt, uh, there are, are shouts, uh, and there are suddenly shots raining down from uh, multiple directions. Uh, it seems like you've got some coming down from the, the top of those stairs. Uh, there are some sort of uh, beautiful, ornate wooden archways into, like, sitting rooms on the, uh, on the side of the foyer here. Uh, and uh, you can see scarecrow goons... Uh, just pouring out of the out of those into the foyer guns blazing what do you do Sorry that we can't kill these guys oh well um listen it's not nobody dies it's that we don't kill anybody right and on that note i i think uh um jackie who's been like sort of sitting like under i think like kind of almost half in your lap, Manny, but like slightly underneath your seat is going to kick out the the door and utilize it as a shield and mm-hmm. is going to kneecap as many of these uh, <laughs> boys as she possibly can. Great. You don't have to use kneecap. Just use your gun and like sweep them. I mean, that is what she is using. Okay. <laughs> Just sweep them. Again... As we've already established, you don't need legs to live. 
Okay, so I, I'm starting a clock for or the, arms or for eyes the goons. Or, you know, there's a host of things. Yeah. So what you're saying is Jackie casts gun. I gun do. solves I all cast problems. Cast gun. <laughs> all right. The one spell she knows. So, uh, okay, but I, I like the idea that there are some guys rushing up to the van and you you kick open the door and like slam it right into them as you're oh, I'm opening also cool with that yeah as you're opening move uh so let's have this is either maneuver or skirmish whichever this is you would so like skirmish I, I did not come here to play i've got a date after this and i intend to keep it <laughs> okay uh these guys are uh, i think we established that all the goons are level one Right? Right. Uh, so you are at level parity with them. Um, however, I think... Uh, um, no, I'm not going to put you in a desperate situation. You mix success on the, the approach roll. So, yeah, uh, you're you're rolling flat with your skirmish. Cool. I've got three, so I'm not going to push myself here. Okay. It's already good, but let's try one more. Just yeah, okay, that's two sixes and a four. Two sixes, shit. Okay, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I only have two dice with me, so I rolled six four first, and then the other six popped up. All right. So what? Uh, okay. So you slam open the door. Uh, two guys who are who are running at you uh, just get absolutely wiped out. Uh, by this heavy armored door uh, as you kick it open uh, and, you know, go down uh, onto the uh, onto the floorboards with a nasty crack. Uh, double sixes. That's a critical success. What extra effect would you like here? And oh, I will what I will else? offer you if you are uh, if you just want to move it along quickly, you can just tick another segment in the clock. I feel like I want to tick that segment and I just feel like she's going out um, guns blazing. Uh, like there's a brief moment of silence as you hear some shells falling. It's just. Does anyone know where the doctor is? Because we have an appointment. Amazing. Uh, Manny, what do you do? Uh, what's your what's your Manny? opening move here? Uh, well, Jackie's made such a big entrance. I think Manny's going to follow suit and look for stragglers. Um, anyone else coming from behind uh, and look to engage in mano a mano. Cool. Uh, yeah. So, uh, you know, I think, uh, you, you can sort of, you can slide out the passenger side behind Jackie here. Mm -hmm. Uh, you, uh, you whip around and you see, uh, that, um, there is, uh, there's a guy running, uh, in from the side who has, uh, one of those canisters, uh, and, is about to pull the pin out and hurl it into the uh, into the cab of the van. What do you uh, do? I will put my foot in his face. Great. <laughs> All right. So we're definitely talking about a skirmish roll here. Uh, let's let's roll that up. Okay. I think uh, I I am gonna put you one down for desperate situation because if uh, if there's any slip ups here. Uh, this grenade is going in the car. Okay, in which case I will... Um, you know what? I will push myself then. Okay. To stress, you yep. get that die back. Sweet. A five and a six. All right, six will do it. Uh, what does it look like uh, as you kick this guy in the face and take him out? Uh, well, I think it's um, it's very obviously it's very comic book. The 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 van comes spinning. Jackie does her thing, and you just see like in a panel by herself, Manny foot out, 
flying through the air at an unknown target. And then you see the splat panel with the face and the foot yep. before you see the person and what they're holding. Um, this person has definitely been kicked in the face uh, and taken down. Um, yeah. And Manny and will, if the pin's out, Manny's going to put it back in or else she's just going to grab the explosive. They, This person no. is out. And I think what happens is uh, you uh, you land. They, they have like let go of the grenade and it's up in the air. Uh, and as you land, you say no. And you gra- you catch the grenade in the air. Uh, check it. Pin's still in. You're good. Okay. Otherwise, if the pin was out, we were going to do the kick in the face and then a roundhouse kick of the grenade to behind the guys. So, <laughs> either way, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ollie, uh, you are... Uh, so, both uh, Jackie and Manny have uh, come out the passenger side of the van. You are obviously on the driver's side. Um, and... Um, so what you are most vulnerable to right now is there are um, there are some shots coming from up above you on the staircase that goes around the elevator cage. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so there are bullets starting to kind of rain down and they're like pinging uh, off of the the armored siding uh, and just cracking into the bulletproof glass on the side of this van. What do you do? Ooh. I think Ollie's going to pop the door open and um, move around the back, maybe. Just kind of sprint and slide around the back to try to um, reconnect with the other two without landing on top of them during what they're doing. Okay, cool. So uh, let's have a maneuver roll to resolve that. Um, I don't think... uh, I mean, you you are actively... six and a one being shot at oh is it desperate Mm. so this this might be a desperate situation so i think you're gonna lose one that was a six and a one i'm sad that's a four okay mixed success uh so i think uh yeah i think you you probably have some harm incoming so you know you pop out the the driver's side uh you dash along the side of the van just sort of like right behind uh you know submachine gun fire that's just pinging into the side of the van behind you uh and i think uh as you um you're not actually gonna get hit by any bullets as you whip around the side of the van uh you are actually going to like uh catch your uh your shin on the van uh and that's gonna be and you're just gonna slam that for uh let's say one level one harm well i have a fun story about that do you i have the ability tenacious now incoming harm is reduced by one severity all right. So, uh, in fact, uh, what happens is uh, you are about to slam your shin uh, and you just move your leg. You just sort of swing your leg at the right angle at the last second, slide uh, along the back of the van uh, and using your momentum, kind of slide yourself back around onto the back side of the van. You did it. I feel good about myself. Cool. Uh, all right. So, uh, on the back side of the van, um, y'all have taken care of, uh, y'all have taken care of, uh, the guys who were coming from the, uh, basically if we're facing in, uh, into, in towards the center of the manor, in towards that, the elevator cage and the stairs, um, from the right, uh, you have, taken care of the guys there uh though you do hear a bunch you do hear screams and shouts uh and if you look over you can see the civilians from earlier and the asylum guards uh who were all held hostage in the reception area of the main building if you recall they scattered out one group uh 
took refuge in the parking garage, uh, and fortunately you did not encounter them yet. Uh, the other group uh, seems to have hunkered down uh, here and uh, unfortunately fell right back into the clutches of Scarecrow's goons. Um, so you see all of them huddled up against, uh, there's like a fireplace uh, on, the, uh, on the far wall of this parlor. They're all kind of huddled there and you, you know, they're, yeah, the civilians are screaming in panic. The guards are kind of trying to restore order, uh, uh, but they are, you know, still unarmed uh, as well. And then from the other side, from your left, uh, you have uh, additional scarecrow goons uh, rushing in, guns blazing. What do you do? Anybody? Is there a way that we can get the car angled so that we cut these scarecrow hench folk off from attempting to get to the civilians? Uh, you would have to back it up into the center. Uh, you would have to like turn it and then back it up into the center of the foyer. It wouldn't so be like a three point turn. Uh, yeah, basically. I, I mean, you don't, you wouldn't have to necessarily. I think there's probably enough room. This is like a, big like multi-story wide space yeah it doesn't uh, have to be perfect just just putting an obstacle in between them. yeah all jumping out sprinting around just got, mm, running back i i want to i want to see the conversation that causes ollie to immediately run back give me that yeah i think yeah ollie, give me that ollie just give like me that he's second still kind the of standing like near the car and she just like hits like the top of it and is like ollie uh, um like I think get just just can we move this thing just get it between the just get it between them between what it's like from yeah, right behind got, your shoulder from the other side that you were expecting <laughs> yeah. um the freaking civilians oh, god damn fine um and ollie's gonna dive over i think manny <laughs> to scramble back in through the passenger seat to get to the driver's seat again. I mean, Manny is uh, out of the car oh, at this point. So you, yeah. Oh, you, no, no, Manny, Manny's lying kicked out, remember? Yeah, yeah. Jackie, Jackie's the one out. that's still kind of standing in the passenger seat using the door as a shield. Yeah, so okay, uh, Ollie, so, you, you just have to go like sad Charlie Brown for a second and then you <laughs> leap back through the passenger side, grab the wheel, right? Yeah. Uh, and you, I mean, the you're bonus. You're going to want to hold on of, for this one. I'm going to hold on with one hand, and if I can, while you're doing that, fire at the guys that are trying to get us from the top. Uh, again, I'm aiming for bellissimo and hands. <laughs> is it is a thing of beauty? Okay, <laughs> uh, Ollie, give me a uh, give me another maneuver. Uh, this is going to count for you both. You getting back to the wheel uh, and uh, maneuvering the van back to block the guys who are rushing in. From the uh, left-hand parlor, is this is this uh am I? I flat you're or? you're flat. I think yeah. So not you're not going to be down any dice for this. Okay, I'm starting to get freaked out because every time I roll two dice, it's either a six and a one or a six and a two. Because that's a six and a two. Oh, okay, hell yeah, six is going to do it. Uh, and it's not the same. It's a different dice every single time too. Because I'm rolling, I'm rolling <laughs> this these two fucking weird man do you need cool. me to roll for shooting more hench folk yes so <laughs> ollie you leap back across the passenger seat you slide back into uh into the driver's whoop, into the driver's seat you uh you spin the wheel uh and uh and back it up uh and turn it around to the side uh and block off uh, these two guys who are running in from that side. Meanwhile, Jackie, you are holding on to the door. Uh, I, I think maybe you one hand. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe you've rolled down the window and you're kind of like using the um, the window frame to hold on to. Uh, you might have like one foot up on like the running board, right? Uh, as Ollie swings it around and you bring your weapon to bear uh, on the stairs. The guys up on the stairs. So. Jackie, uh, you are rolling a skirmish. Ollie, if you want to pay stress, you uh, do, you have I certainly do. done an action that can assist. Okay, that is four dice now that I'm rolling. The odds are looking good, folks. Let's see what happens. I will pay that. Okay. Am I paying one stress? 
Yes, one stress to uh, to assist. We've already got a six and, the f- and a five on the table, but now I'm rolling the other two. <laughs> For another six and a five. Shit. <laughs> All right, two more sixes. Okay, so. <laughs> six, five, six, five, baby. Okay, so that for sure, uh, that for sure fills up a clock segment. Listen, I got a hug and I'm good now. Apparently, like, yeah. I'm solid. Yeah. I have this. Uh, hugs are great. Um, I'm good. <laughs> so what extra effect do you want? You're, you're at least taking out one guy on the stairs, uh, if not more, uh, depending on how much we fill up this clock. What extra effect would you like here? Oh, Boise, what is around me here? Like, can I... I think it'd be great if I could find a way to just cut off entirely, just stop, like, to to make sure they don't come down here for the civilians. Uh, I mean... We can't really see what's going on in this, this dark. Yeah, you don't have a great view. Like, mostly the, the illumination that you have is, uh, muzzle flashes. Um, Got it. You definitely slammed through, uh, a, a nice big antique table in the center of the room, uh, which had a, a beautiful, beautiful antique vase on it uh and there are some side tables uh in the in the room as well um again because this is a uh you know this is an admin reception area um you can see off to the um uh like through okay. through the driver's side you can see that there is like a, a reception desk yeah uh, is, in here is as there well a way that i could Util- is the extra effect, and you can tell me if this is possible, like intimidation here. Um, I just took out a lot of them, and I'm still I'm still holding onto the doorway. Listen, we can keep using you for target practice for the rest of the night, but I say again, where is the doctor? Cool. Uh, all right. So yeah, I, I mean, do you want your extra effect to to? Uh, I'd love to get them to be just... an answer to that question. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, so uh, <laughs> uh, I I don't I don't think it's gonna be the bet like the the most uh, uh, polite answer, uh, but uh, you uh, you know you you shoot up uh, and you know you definitely uh hear somebody like scream fall to the floor somebody uh somebody else shouts down he's upstairs come and fucking get him and continues firing down at you manny uh there are now two guys coming in from the side uh, on the same level as you. You're on the opposite. Uh, there is now a van between you and them. Uh, but uh, would you like to address them in some fashion? Perhaps with a foot. I would like to address them. But what I would like to do is do a manning is a very classic move, which is to get them to turn on each other. Yes, perfect. What does this look um, and like? And so Manny is going to come on and do some fancy footwork. And um, I just love that Manny is living in a cartoon right now. Uh, it's very much a, like, bizarre acrobatics unleashed in the middle of these guys. And, like, I think they're so confused. And next thing they know, like, a knee's being knocked and an elbow's being thwacked. And, like, someone's getting smacked in the neck. And they're just, like, so confused. They're flailing. Uh, but... Uh, at each other instead yeah. of the target. Great. So, yeah, I'm imagining you, like, put your hands on top of the van uh, yeah. and then you flip up and over the van into the guys who have to, like, the van has just stopped, like, a yeah. second ago, right? And they're sort of having to, like, pull up short to avoid crashing into the van. You land in between them and all of a sudden you are sort of like in there, like <laughs> acrobatically, you know, flowing between them, moving around them, repositioning them. They are trying to ineffectually strike at you uh, and unfortunately are getting completely 
completely tangled to shit in each other. Uh, let's have yes. the, the the little cloud with the fists coming out of it disappears, and they're just like pretzel around each other. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this I think is a bit more of a maneuver scenario. So, so I was using my move fancy footwork. Yes, which so just allows me. So do I push myself and roll? How does uh? Does the move say push yourself for the effect? Yeah, it says when I push myself, choose either to perform a superhero you and free of acrobatics or misdirect your enemy so that they attack each other. Okay, cool. So, yeah, so push yourself, spend the two stress, uh, and yep, done. they will attack each other. Uh, and we're ticking off another segment on the clock. There's one more left. Uh, so yeah, Manny in this, you know, in this cloud, uh, I'm imagining some very like, uh, everything everywhere all at once shit, uh, of, of just like, you know, uh, uh, people just maneuvering at each other very quickly and, yes. uh, and, and these sort of like hard flowing strikes and these total misdirects, uh, <laughs> and, uh, when the, uh, when the dust clears after a second, you sort of spin out. Uh, and then the two guys just drop, uh, in front of you or behind you, depending on your perspective, by the side of the van. Uh, all right, you have one more, uh, you have one more known scarecrow goon in this area, uh, who is continuing to shoot down at your van, uh, in rapid bursts. Uh, from the top of the stairs. What do you do? I think... Ooh. I have a stupid thought. <laughs> I was like, we have a lot of explosives we can throw. Yeah, but we can't kill anybody. If I, I don't know what the explosive does, is it my fault? <laughs> you know, like, the one I took off is, the guy. We, it's possible we to break it. We technically have a lawyer, and we could ask uh, those questions, but uh, Jackie could also give you a boost, Manny, and you could maybe try to do your thing. Are we going to fastball special this? I'd love to fastball special you, is what I'm saying. So we play fastball special this? <laughs> Instead of a grenade, we work out a launch of flying men. I'd, I'd actually like to try to get this door like off its hinges almost. I'm pretty sure it's like on its last legs, given how much we've been whipping it around. Sure. Um, and use it kind of like a shield and springboard you up. Amazing. All right. So um, I think then, Manny, you're going to roll a maneuver to get up there. <laughs> and uh, Jackie... Let's get uh no, I don't I don't think you have to roll uh one stress to help. Uh yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Um because okay. I'm technically not talking you through this. Um I will, however, like do Yeah, I mean right, like what's your what's your like you can talk me what's through. your one no, I mean, word? I talk you through how to do this. I just trust you're able to do that, but I'll give a <laughs> shrill whistle and sort of I'll, like yank yeah. my arm around, and I think that sort of gets the uh, the the door finally off its last there you hinge, go. And, which has been you know Jackie's entire state of mind this entire time, and um, I'm gonna tap it like I'm holding on to it, um, and I just go Manny, let's get this guy. And she's <laughs> just gonna hold. She's gonna kneel down and hold it up. Oh God, I wish there was like theme music. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what am I rolling at? Am I rolling? All right. So you're rolling a maneuver and it's flat. You have, uh, to start, you have a plus one because Jackie is helping you. Yay. A four, six, two, and three. All to right. Get that six. Six is going to do it. So Manny, you take a running leap. You, uh, Jackie, you, you know, you sort of, Heft down as uh, as Manny steps onto the door uh, and push off a as she leaps up. Manny, you go leaping through the air, arms forward. You grab uh, the forward bars of the elevator cage and swing through and up 
onto the higher landing of the stairs. Uh, three point landing. And three point landing, right? <laughs> I think I think you uh, you actually sort of go under the landing. You swing uh, right under the landing yeah. over three point landing behind this guy uh, who is who is firing down. Uh, and then how do you take him out? Uh, just with a we're gonna we're gonna pull a little uh, Sonia blade for Mortal Kombat and do a uh, flip, grab him by the neck and flip him over. Yeah, uh, and you you flip him back over. Uh, we hear his uh, his back crack into the uh, into the metal banister uh, behind you on the landing, uh, and he slumps down. And then Manny will say, a three point landing. What am I, good guy? Shit. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> oh, Harley, you might be right. You might be going to soft. <laughs> Just muttering to herself. The uh the this this room is is filled with smoke from gunfire and burning rubber and uh you know the, the rubble that you have smashed through. Uh and there are the there's a couple of guards who are sort of like hands spread out, like keeping the civilians uh, in the uh, in the left in, in the right hand side parlor back, uh, but one of the guards steps forward, l- looks out into the you know the the red lit foyer, looks at the three of you and the destruction that you've wrought, and just says, "Who the fuck are you guys?" And as the dust is settling and the asylum guards and their civilian and staff charges are just sort of standing shell-shocked uh, after this this burst of, of outrageous violence uh, out of nowhere, uh, you hear the PA system click on. And, of course, you hear the familiar voice of Jonathan Crane. Welcome. Welcome. I've been wondering when you were going to come visit me. You're such eager little test subjects. And you're easily my most interesting this evening. Flitting about here and there, doing your little tasks, collecting your friends. Very, very interesting behavior. Are you taking advantage of a crisis? Or is this just happenstance? Ah, well, no matter. I feel that I know you a little bit at this point. I've been following you on the security feeds. I've read your files. But of course, you don't really know someone until you see them in the throes of fear. I do hope I'll really get to know you all. And the PA system clicks off. I've had just about enough of that. Mm, My foot is desperate to meet his face. I put on the brass knuckles. Yeah. I'm looking forward to getting to know this doctor myself. And as you say that, there is a buzz. And now, all the emergency lights go out. And everything inside this mansion is plunged into pitch blackness. The only light that you have is just this thin sliver of a glow filtering in from the windows and the large hole where the door used to be uh, of the sort of ambient light pollution from Gotham City outside. But otherwise, 
Above you and outside is a starless night obscured by storm clouds. And you are in the dark in the manor house. There's a roll of thunder in the distance. What's your next move? Gonna put on that gas mask now. Yeah, that seems like maybe a a useful idea. Yeah. Yep. Just gonna pop that on real quick. Gas masks on for show. Ollie's taking their sunglasses off. Ooh. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, all the better to see you with my punk bitch ass motherfucker and friend. (laughs) Cool. Are you are you also donning a gas mask? Mm. We have one. No. No. Yeah. You Put you on have a gas mask, Ollie. <laughs> I'll need it. I don't care if you think you don't need it. Put it on. We got it. Fine. <laughs> I pulled that off of someone's face just for you. Oh, that that would explain the smell. You saw me do it. What is that? It smells Dark like a sweat. It smells Ugh. like a like kind of cheap cinnamon gum. Oh, at least it's better than bad breath. Red. Uh, so like red you, <laughs> yeah. So you you tighten. You know the you you adjust the the gas masks that you got off the the scarecrow goons uh, onto your faces. Uh, I think all we can really see is just sort of shadowy shapes and the green glint behind the lenses uh, of Ollie's eyes uh, of the gas mask. Before we go upstairs, move? Jackie's gonna turn back to the uh, um, to the civilians and the guards. The door's about as open as it's gonna get. You're gonna want to get as far away from here as possible. Shit! You don't need to tell me twice, lady. And uh, yeah, the the guard turns to to the other people. Come on, folks! It ain't safe here no more. And. They uh, they sort of stumble over, you know, furniture. You can hear them tripping through the, the darkness uh, and uh, and down out the door um, onto the, the cobblestone driveway outside. Uh, if you look behind you, you can see that all the lights on the island have been cut now. Um, there there were some, uh, you know, street lamps uh, like lampposts outside uh previously those are off there were searchlights uh coming down from the guard towers on either side of the gate uh that that goes out to the causeway those are off it's just it's total darkness out there all all you can really see is just that light pollution glow off the clouds all right let's do this right behind you uh, are we gonna daisy chain it up there? Because mm-hmm. Ollie, I think you might be the only one capable of really seeing right now. I guess uh, everybody on me. All right. Mm-hmm. So oh, yeah, let's go Ollie take the stuffing out of this motherfucker. Yeah, Ollie. Uh, I I won't say you can see well, but you can certainly mm-hmm. see the best uh, out of out of anybody. Uh, and. Uh, <laughs> Do, do you all hold hands? Great. Friendship. <laughs> all right. You, uh, yeah, so you <laughs> you grab onto each other's hands uh, and you start uh, walking up the spiral staircase and it spirals around uh, and around and around this central elevator cage. Um you are you walk up uh, quite uh, a number of stories here. Uh, I think you probably count about uh, four um, before the stairs lead you um, 
up and sort of through this central uh, opening uh, in the middle of a medium-sized room, um, which uh, I, I I think you could probably. Well, it's it is dark. Yeah, you're you're not really sure exactly where you are here. So you uh, you sort of come up. Uh, uh, into this room, and you can feel that there is there's sort of a railing around the edge. There's like this square opening that the elevator cage comes through, and the stairs lead off on. Uh, and then you sort of feel this this railing around the edge of the uh, of essentially the opening back down. Um, and there is just there's a little bit of light in here. Actually, there there's a lot of small lights. What you see are um, uh, along the walls the lights of all kinds of uh, computer and electronic equipment. There are these humming servers with uh, little LEDs blinking away. Um, you can see that there some of the walls are are dedicated to these sort of big. Um, panels with lots of little blinking lights uh, on them. Uh, these seem to be uh, older than LED lights. Like they're they're actually like just mini incandescent bulbs. This is much older tech. Um, and these little status lights are sort of uh, blinking off, off and on. And you can just see them just a little bit illuminating, like. Uh, some of the surrounding area so you can like just you can't read anything but you can make out okay some of these are kind of labeled and there are things connected to things it's kind of a schematic uh, situation um, and those uh, those little blinking lights are also illuminating uh, these panels of, of buttons knobs switches gauges uh, which are, are just a little bit lit up uh, in in some places and and various meters, you know, some of the needles seem to be uh, twitching. Some of them are are dead. Um, there are you can just make out um, some screens in here, like uh, flat panel uh, flat panel displays, but they seem to be off. And you are in this dark room at the top of Arkham Manor. What do you do? Gotta be pretty quiet. This fucking guy is probably creeping around somewhere, right waiting to jump out the instant more we let our guard down. You probably already see us. Yeah. He's been watching us. Yeah. He's got... He can see us just as he can see us. He's got cameras everywhere. Do, do his cameras have night vision, though? Probably. I'm going to say, yeah. Weren't you in a prison? I mean, we could just set a fire. <laughs> just, or we can say, come out, come out, wherever you are. He's pretty fucking chatty. He's probably going to respond. And the PA okay. clicks on <laughs> as you say that. Uh, and you hear Crane's voice from a lot of different directions at once. There appear oh, to be multiple speakers uh, in this in this room. Uh, and you hear his, his voice from all different directions. Uh, and he says, All right. You got me. I guess I am a little chatty. It's been awful lonely up here, just watching you all scurry about. I like the idea of setting a fire. That's an interesting one. Lots of people fear fire, but many are not aware of that fear. So that's interesting. I think just as he's talking, like Jackie's gonna be. Is is it just a room, or are we in a hall? You're in a room. Yeah, you can you can definitely like the way that you hear the PA kind of echoing off the walls. You, I'm gonna start testing walls and panels. 
to see if I can find some someplace hollow. I'm just going to knock on them with the brass knuckles. Interesting. Yeah. So you're you're sort of knocking along the along the side, and it's it's mostly like um, metal, you know, metal computer panels, uh, the, these sort of status boards here. Uh, oh, and now you're searching, searching for me. Perhaps you've been searching for me the whole time. Maybe you didn't even realize it. Oh, yes, I would like that very much. If you really want so badly to be hugged, why don't you just come out here? Oh, you misunderstand. I'm not the one who wants something here. You are. And I know what it is. If you're here... It means that each of you has a need, a desire, a core drive to get up close and personal with fear. You need to experience it in its pure form. I understand that. And I'm happy to oblige. And you all hear the hiss of a pressurized tank tap opening somewhere in the room. Uh, And then... Can we hear where that's coming from? Yes. Uh, Jackie, uh, it is you are... It is sort of in the opposite corner from where you are. And uh, Jackie, if you turn in the direction of the tank, uh, you see looming up out of the darkness a tall, lanky figure wrapped in rags. What? A burlap (laughs) mask with dual air filters coming out of it linked by this hideous stitched grin and the scarecrow has a small electronic device with a little red LED on it which is illuminating his face and he clicks it and everybody feels something burst inside your gas mask Fuck. and you breathe in a bitter slightly metallic substance. Son of a whore! (laughs) I hate this. I'm going to need everybody to give me a resistance roll against the fear gas that is now filling your respirators. Uh, Can I do this with resolve? Uh, This is so... I think uh yes, so Ollie, this is for gonna be with, handy with resolve for your yeah, for your abilities. Uh Jackie, Manny, this is gonna be with prowess. So resistance rolls yeah. down your prowess. I'm just gonna get this shit off my face. <laughs> I have a new fun ability that I took the after the last time he tried to drug me, which is unbreakable focus. Mm-hmm. I have one armor to resist the consequences of being surprised. Or put in mental distress. Okay, yeah. Um, so how does this work? It's it's more like rather than, I guess I'll roll and then we'll find out, right? Uh, you can or you can just mark the armor. Oh, and yeah. once you mark the armor, it's gone. Yes, so yeah. So your your armor is, is, is marked and you've used that armor now for this, uh, for this score. Uh, and it's not going to reset until your next downtime. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, cool. So you are able to, you're, you're going to be able to resist this. Um, Ollie, you you got what, a five, you said? A six, a five, and a two. Okay, six. Uh, cool, so you can resist without penalty. And Manny. Manny rolled a six, a four, and a two. Six, a four, and two. Okay, so you all resist this. Uh, which is super, super interesting. Um, so I, you know, I think, uh, I think what happens is, I mean, you, you can decide if you want to take, if you, you, you guys want to rip the masks off or not. 
uh, that that is up to you. I think. Well, I mean, they're they're useless now. The the respirators well, have been blown out. I don't know if the respirators are blown out. Gas. Yeah, basically. So may as well take them off. Yeah, they they yeah, are definitively full of fear toxin. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull that sucker right off, but I'm just gonna keep staring at Scarecrow. Is that yeah. the best you got? Ollie wants to eat their mask at Scarecrow. Uh, oh, yeah. Just in yeah. general. Manny, <laughs> too. Uh, like, Jackie says that, and then we're just like, but boo! Let's, let's, boo. <laughs> we're about to uh, recreate the man on the stage. Uh, literally, this is, let's just recreate Jonathan Crane's high school life right now. Boo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you you whip the masks off, Jackie. You say that the other two throw it uh, directly at him, uh, and uh, you uh, yeah, you you just hear from under the mask. Fascinating, uh, and then there is just a poof of, of uh, smoke, uh, and he vanishes from your immediate view in the dark. However, what's uh you have resisted the gas. So you uh you are aware that the things that you are starting to feel are not real, but your fears are starting to gnaw at the backs of your minds. And I do want to know what each of those are. Uh, Jackie, you don't have, again, you're not, you're not plunged into a, a hallucinogenic vision of fear, but it's sort of, um, resisting is, is sort of reducing it down to an intrusive thought. So what is, what is the thought? What is Jackie afraid of? There's there's just a, a couple of words I think that just float around. I mean, she doesn't even need fear gas for this one. <laughs> this is, well, just welcome to her inner life. It's just a little bit louder, which is um, you're a monster. You will fail everyone you love. Um, yeah, on repeat. Yeah. Uh, and you're you're sort of feeling that sort of you know at the at the at the animal base of your brain. Uh, a little more firmly, uh, but you're keeping it together. Ollie, what's going through your head? What what fear does Ollie experience? I think Ollie's getting a weird psychosomatic itch at the back of their head. And it's this fear that even if they can shrug off the poison, what if, what were they doing to the dock for so long? What what was that? What was going on there? Because they've seen people come into Arkham before, people they loved, and what came out was broken. And what if, um, what if this, uh, what if that's what drew Crane here? Yeah, and that that is that is wiggling at the back of your head, slithering, like uh, <sighs> something nasty attached to the base of your neck, like a leech, like a leech. Manny, what fear bubbles up in the back of your head? Uh, the biggest fear Manny has. Is just a voice saying, "What if? What if you trust in the wrong people? What if after all this, Batman just locks you up again? What if meeting Harley once a week is the best you're ever going to get?" Yeah, and that that is looping through your mind here, but I. Uh, as those thoughts are uh, are are sort of 
percolating through your minds. You, you're in control of yourselves. Crane comes back on the PA, or maybe he's speaking in the room as well at the same time. Uh, and he says, oh, this is extremely, extremely interesting. You three are unique. Do you know I've only encountered one other person who's able to resist this formulation of fear toxin so effectively? Someone very familiar to you, Jackie. Makes sense. Genetics. You're related, after all. I slam my fist into a, one of the panels. What's the matter, Doctor? Too afraid to face us? <laughs> I'm facing you right now. And again, there is this sudden looming up uh, of, uh, of Scarecrow out of, of the darkness, this hideous mask sort of directly uh, in your faces. I have to punch him. Yeah, you have you have a second to act. Uh, uh, Manny says, "I grew up in a circus. I've seen worse." And Manny's going for the mat for the hood. Like you're you're trying to tear it off. Cool. Uh, which uh, yeah is is very interesting for reasons. Um, yeah, uh, Ollie. Ollie's got lightning reflexes, uh -huh. which is uh, if there's a question about who acts first, it's always you. But I think what Ollie is going to do is when Manny slams her, or Manny, when Jackie slams her fist into that and um, and our the fine doctor looms up, Ollie is going to take the opportunity to slip behind the nearest bank of monitors or whatever. I'm kind of picturing, is there just stuff all over the place? Like that's kind of the vibe in this room, or is it stuff the, around the perimeter? It's around the perimeter. So everything that you can see, at least, is around the perimeter of the room. So I think Ollie's trying to flip the flip the script here and is going to um, slip out of sight, uh, try to slip out of sight of the doctor and get behind him. Cool, cool. Uh, all right. So yeah, let's uh, let's have a couple of, of uh, rolls to resolve this stuff. Uh, Jackie, you're first up. Um, you're you're just punching right in the face. So let's oh, have a yeah. skirmish Don't roll. Don't talk about my sister. Uh, you you only have seconds to react to this. Uh, so it's a desperate action, and he does have a level on you. So yeah, now's the time down, to push myself. <laughs> you're down two to start. All right. If I push myself, I'll get one dice back, which will put... Ooh, math is difficult. I have three to start with, so we're taking two away, so if I push myself, I'll have two. Yes. Okay. I will be doing that. Okay. A six and a three. Okay. Uh, yeah. Six. Uh, six is gonna do it. Yes. All right. Yes! <laughs> Uh, I have waited so long for this. Yeah, so he he looms up and just like bam, just sucker like sucker punch instantaneously With the before brass he can pull back right in the face. Uh, and Manny, you uh, as he as he reels back are gonna reach in from the side, grab a hold of that burlap. Uh, this, uh, I think also is something that has to be done, you know, quickly, skillfully. We're talking about a, a maneuver role here for sure. Sure. Um, uh, and, and you're down to desperate situation. He's got a level on you. Okay. Uh, and, uh, let's see, but Manny is a sneak and a thief and a pickpocket. Snatching things should be what she do. What she do? Okay, you know what? Uh, I guess I cannot push myself though, because uh, gotta save some stress for actual fights. You take a devil's bargain. Ooh, what is a devil's bargain? Uh, I think 
uh, I think the devil's bargain has to be that, like, you succumb to the gas. Like, you are, you know, like, y'all are, are continually breathing it in. You can tell that the room is filled with it. Uh, right now, you're sort of holding on by sheer willpower. Um, or in uh, in Ollie's case, sheer uh, biological processes. Uh, but those can be overwhelmed. So... Devil's bargain is you will get hit with the fear gas. I don't know. I don't know if getting the mask off is worth that yet. I feel like I should save that for a more epic action. I'll just roll with one. Okay. A four. Four. Mixed success. Uh, Okay. So, uh... Let's say uh, you're not going to you're not going to be able to get the mask off. Um, However, uh, you um, you do like grab hold of him. Uh, So, you know, let's say it's dark, right? You reach up Mm -hmm. and you grab hold of like a a big handful of burlap. Uh, It's Mm -hmm. not the mask, but it is another part of uh, of his clothing. And you do have a hold of Scarecrow. Uh, You can't run. Yeah. Um, Ollie, you uh, are, are trying to get uh, out of Scarecrow's sight. Uh, sounds like you're trying to prowl around his back. Let's have a roll for that. Uh, I don't think this one is desperate. You're in a bit more of a controlled position. Uh, however, again, he does have a level on you. So prowl minus one to start. All right. I'm going to push myself to reach one dice. Cool. Cool. Okay, I'm going to die. This character is going to die because that's another six. Okay, uh, cool. <gasps> there is so much bad the dice, dice karma know. coming from me. They, they know. They know. All right. So they know this is important, but also like that's a statistically unlikely number. And now I'm starting to get uncomfortable and anxious. Are you uh, getting scared? Fuck you. <laughs> So, Ollie, you swoop down and around uh, behind Scarecrow. Um, The three of you, between the three of you, you actually, like, uh, you kind of have him pinned between the the three of you right now. uh, And you you hear him chuckling uh, under the mask. Uh, Oh, yes. You are good at facing your fears. I'm just good at beating up fucking punks like you that don't know when to shut up. Hey, bud, you want to know a secret? You've never been what we feared. I think chiming in from right, like uncomfortably close from (laughs) behind him, you just get uh, Ollie. You know, we grew up in Gotham, right, bro? Like, <laughs> have you ever seen the trains here? <laughs> um, And can I just give him a little cuddle with uh, uh, the barrel of a submachine gun to the back of his knee? Sure. Uh, are, are you just, like, pushing it into him? Yeah, just letting him know it's there. Okay. Uh, what's your What's your goal here? Are you trying to intimidate him? Yes. Extremely okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, so what are you asking him to do with that intimidation? Why don't we have this discussion with you with your hands up and your creepy little mask off? All right. Uh, command. You are commanding him to put his hands up and take his mask off. Come out, come out and face your fears. Uh, remember you're down one because he has a level on you. What's the matter, Dr. Crane? Are you scared? Um, I will push myself to, again, get one dice. (sighs) It's a two. 
too. Be okay. Fine. I was so I was like, I'm both relieved that that wasn't a six, but also like at this point, <laughs> I was kind of expecting it. All right. Um, I'm going to hit you pretty hard for that. Uh, That's so, um, uh, uh, Crane, uh, Crane uh, sort of whips around Ollie like faster than you would expect uh, and uh, is going to uh, very quickly. He sort of grabs you, spins you around and pushes you forward uh, into that railing over the hole in the center of the of the room. And you are going to go flipping over the railing and you are going to go plummeting uh down the elevator cage. You go Holy you shit. go right over the stairs uh, and he has shoved you and thrown you down the elevator cage. Uh, Can you I have roll to resist consequences? Yes, you are going to have uh, one point of level two harm, one box of level two harm coming in your direction. Okay. Can I I can roll to resist that? Yes, you can. Uh, okay. Roll with, uh, I think, prowess. Who's got tired of their character getting go- so much so much stress? <laughs> um, it's me. I have three. I have uh, uh, all three pips on the first uh, thing filled. Ooh, ooh. Oh, here's the karma. The four, a two, and a one. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, so highest is six minus four. Uh, you're going to have to pay two stress to resist this. I will do that. And that would drop it down to a severity one. Yes. So but because I have tenacious, that drops it to a severity zero. Uh, Yeah, I think that works. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Yeah, I, I can't see any reason it wouldn't. Great. So it's fine. I'm totally not about to max out stress in a single encounter. Yeah, so Ali, uh, you go tumbling down the cage, uh, but you got those quick reflexes, and you were able to reach out and grab onto part of the cage, uh, and you are, uh, you you know, you grab the, the cage. Uh, you're a little ways down now from the, uh, the, the rest of the group, uh, and, uh, yeah, uh, Manny, you still have a hold on Crane, but he has now turned around uh, and is is about to like at in the process of shoving Ollie is about to break out of that hold and possibly disappear. Uh, what do you do? Uh, Manny is I mean, he's in grass. Manny's going to try to hit him on the head. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Uh, or, 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 I mean, if it's easier, a nice little sleeper hold. I mean, yeah, you can try to like bring him back into a, uh, into a, into a hold. Um, oh, yeah, we're gonna, oh, how about that? Yeah, sleeper hold, but Manny just straight up jumps on his back and put, tries to put him in a sleeper hold because, cool. you know, she's little and yeah, he, leverage. He, he is, he is a tall, lanky boy. Uh, all right, cool. Skirmish, uh, you are down one. Okay. Skirm, skirm. This is not great, but we're going to give it a try. Oops! One die. Six. six. Okay, great. That'll do oh, it. What was I down one for? Just being a uh, lower level? Yeah, yeah. He's got a level okay. on you. Just all right. Want to make sure. Cool. Uh, yeah. So you are you are kind of uh, I, I this isn't going to take him out, but you can start to, you know, you, you've definitely got him uh, around the around the throat uh, and uh, and he's struggling. Uh, and as he's struggling, he's like working this out aloud because he's a maniac. He's like, oh, yes, of course. Of course. Oh, you're stewed in fear. You live in it. <laughs> Yes. Uh, this is important for my formulation. What's your next move? Um, I feel like if you've got him in that sleeper hold, Jackie's going to check first, Ollie, that you're climbing back over that railing. I think she's, she almost like lurched forward to grab you, but then saw that you got it. 
So yeah. she's like, all right, that they're, they're, they're going to be, they can yeah. pull themselves up. Uh, I think so Ollie's like literally alert, like kind of just doing the push, you know, that when voice you get got a little pool. bit louder with the whole fail everyone that you love thing there when you flipped over the goddamn railing, but that's fine. Um, Jackie's going to stand over um, Crane and try to pry that mask off of him while, while you've got him pinned down Manny. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Cool. Uh, oh, and, and the reason Manny's on his back is that even if he tries to disappear, he's taken a back with him. <laughs> yep, for sure, for sure. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, so Manny, you, you've got him restrained. You're actively choking him out. Uh, and Jackie, you are going to reach up and try to peel that, uh, that mask off. Uh, let's have a, I think you're, you're maneuvering it off his face. So let's have a Do maneuver that roll. For that, that is, that is, uh, you're uh, down, bring me to nothing. Yeah, you're down one for, he's got the level on you. Whew. Um, I'm not helping by him being if immobilized. You, if you want to pay the stress, we can absolutely count your, uh, your immobilization as help, Manny. Okay. I'll Are you sure? Cause I can still stress myself out. It's okay. It's okay. You can do both. That's legal. I'm on his back. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm also gonna push myself. Okay. Yeah, you can. You can do that. Yeah, you can't push yourself and take a devil's bargain, but you can uh, do one of those two and receive. Okay. So that will bring you back up. That'll no. It'll take me to an extra. Ooh. Um. Six and a four. All right. Six is going to do it. Whenever this karma hits, it's going to be bad, guys. All right. So you uh, you reach up, uh, Jackie, and you rip uh, this this burlap mask off uh, off of Scarecrow's head. Um, There's not really enough light here to see who's under there uh but you do hear a a kind of a a gasp uh and an intake uh of uh of air uh and uh maybe you should have some of your own medicine doctor (sighs) beautiful ah the subject and the experimenter have reversed place what a fascinating turn of events! <sighs> and he's trying to take in big gulps of air because his air pipe is being restricted, and all he's getting are just these huge, huge breaths uh, of uh, of fear gas. He is. Y- you are, you almost have him here. What is the one final thing that the three of you do uh, to try to take him out? Um, Outside of just punching him in the fucking face. <laughs> that's an option. Ooh. I feel like I'm just looking at the positions that the, that this is in. We could just put something heavy on top of him. <laughs> <laughs> like I mean, he's got one body on him. Just add two more. Take him yeah. down. I, do we literally just sit on him and wait for Batman to show up? Well, I mean... That's, yeah. Listen, I, just, I mean, that's an option. Point, pretty sure that there is no stopping Jackie from repeatedly punching him in the face because this idiot decided to mention her goddamn sister. Listen, as it's long not, as it's not yeah. murder, we're still following our contract. Yeah. Um, can I pull a gear slot? Hmm? Yeah, what are you doing? Um, can I just say that there's a. Uh, Ollie snagged some, um, uh, like, uh, flexicuffs, like zip ties. Uh, yeah, sure. That's, that's perfectly plausible. You, you got that guard's whole uniform. You have, you probably could have grabbed some. Yeah. 
Yeah, mark that I off. I think Ollie like has is just kind of like breathing a little heavily as they've just leveraged themselves out of a fucking elevator shaft, and um or whatever that empty. The uh, they just almost died. Um, yeah. And they're gonna walk over and I think um, step on Crane's hand. Um, Oops! Then- didn't see it. He's not on the ground yet. Oh, I'm. Uh, yeah, Manny's oh, still on his picturing- back. Oh. Okay, so I was picturing... Okay, I see. I was picturing yeah. uh, this one to the ground. No, um, no, she's a backpack. She doesn't weigh that much. <laughs> yeah, Man- um, Manny is Manny is also not on the ground. No part of Manny is touching the ground I'll currently. He's just going to walk over and, like, uh, walk up to the side and then kick his knee out from, like, side. Like, really fuck his knee up. Cool. Like, uh, he doesn't need those. Nope. So... Uh, yeah. I think this is a let's see how you stand with one uh, with one pole there, fucking scarecrow. Yeah. Uh, Ollie, do you have a? Did you manage to grab a flashlight? I from, mean, I sure could have. Guard, guard outfit. Because I'd really like to see this <laughs> asshole's face. Yeah, I have implied that I um I really want to keep my the gas stuff. mask is gone. Yeah, if the gas, no plot if for the that gas mask is gone, yeah. the submachine gun is gone. Can I have a flashlight, David? Yeah, yeah. Okay, write down that so, you have a flashlight. Mark it off. Oh, so oh no, that's the real answer. It's one of those giant fuck up. Oh, it's like one of those giant fuck off mag lights. Yes, like yeah. Really heavy well, it's bastards. Like a baton slash flashlight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um and. Uh, and yeah, I think Ollie just very casually walks over and basically kneecaps Scarecrow, and then um, and then flash and then does the yeah, yeah, and then like puts the light right in his right in his face. right in his face. Good, you're you're just giving me a nice frame so I can smash his yeah. nose. All right, uh-huh. uh, so Ollie, uh, let's uh, let's get a skirmish roll from you. Um, and then, uh, both Jackie and Manny, you have the option of paying stress to help because you're, yeah. you're also... Yeah, no question, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's also one. one. Uh, 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 can both of us pay stress to help? Will that give you two die? Under normal circumstances, I would say no, but I'm going to allow it in this instance because I can't think of any valid reason that you wouldn't both be able to help here. So, yeah, both okay. of you can pay stress uh, to to add two to Ollie's pool. Ollie, uh, you're of course down one, uh, so you know you're you've gained one net to your scratch. Okay. So yeah, I'm I'm at a. Um Yes, so I'm rolling two. Okay. I have to re... It's on my mouse rest, which is really disappointing because that could be really good, but... <laughs> you gotta re-roll it. Oh, no! There's oh. the karma, buddy! No! 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 There's the karma! There's the karma! What's the cut? Oh, <gasps> no! Wow. Ow. Well... There aren't really rules for critical failures in this game, but, but that make one. is a critical failure. God damn it. That was the other one was going to either be a six or a two and it landed like on, it was right bound on to my happen. little wrist pad thing. Yeah. So uh, this uh, this is going to be the the this is going to be extremely bad uh, for everybody. Uh, <laughs> yes. Love that. So. You're welcome, Ollie, guys. you uh, you are you are you pull yourself up uh, back over the railing uh, and you bring out the flashlight uh, and you are um, about to uh, you're about to just go to town uh, on those scarecrow kneecaps, those skinny bulging kneecaps uh, those when the little patellas uh, <laughs> When Crane manages to wriggle loose from uh, from Manny, uh, and I think actually uh, is going to like very quickly turn and like slam Manny, uh, backpack Manny into some of the consoles. Um, Manny, uh, you're going to have one level two harm coming in your direction. Uh, 
Critical failure. Definitely. It's, tr- yeah, try like, to resist that. He he's uh, he's slamming you down onto some like very hard, sharp edge metal here. Uh, you can resist that with prowess. Three. Oof. All right. Uh, you have to pay three stress if you want to resist. I don't have three stress to pay. Then one box of level two harm. Uh, so he just uh, he just slams you uh, into this console, uh, and then like it, just a a a bundle of uh, of malignant malignant sticks. <laughs> Throws elbows into Jackie uh, and uh, uh, and Ollie, uh, who uh, the two of you just go sprawling across the floor. Level two harm, one box. Uh, yeah, God. he's he's activated his super cyan like, <laughs> uh, and, and just throws just you all it. off. I okay. Also, oh. Otherwise- if I if I if I don't take it, I'm still getting a level one harm, and that will fill yes. my level one box. So okay. I'm just going to say it aggravates my gunshot wound. <laughs> even further. I, yeah, I am taking that. It so is reduced he, in one he throws an elbow up into your uh, into your chin, Jackie. Uh, your head snaps back. You can you know you feel blood trickling uh, from from let's say he gets your lip right uh, and. Uh, Ollie, uh, you go sprawling back uh, into the uh, into the railing uh, and crack your head against the metal railing. And then uh, there is another puff of this smoke and <laughs> he's Damn out of it. your sight again. But you hear his voice from elsewhere in the room. He's he's sort of he's sort of raving now uh, 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 and say. <laughs> The situation is reversed. The experimenter and the experimentee switch places. Oh, this is if so fascinating. Where are my notes? No, this is a failure state. This is a failure. I failed. I failed. I failed. He's afraid. Yeah. He's very afraid. I feel like this is the appropriate time to taunt him some oh. more. And while you do that, I think Manny, like, completely messed up. And I think, like, Manny hasn't taken level two harm incredibly often. I think the last time was when Joker's goons shot her. Maybe. But Manny's on the ground and she's just like, We've got a very scared little boy on our hands. Well, into her earpiece. Jackie spits blood. Come out, come out. I am not done with you yet. No, no. The experiment must be a success. It has to work. Failure is not an option. Oh, oh no, I'm so you start, failed. Like, are you banging on what? panels now? I'm like almost trying to rip panels out. Like J- Jackie's yeah. gone a little feral. Uh, like she's are you clawing at the walls. Commanding him to come back out. Oh yeah. All right. Roll command. Uh, you're down one. Negative. Yes. Okay. I actually don't mind that. Okay. I don't think she's quite aware that this is a command. <laughs> Three and a one. There it is. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, uh, he's going to say no, no. The situation is reversed. You're the one stalking me now. You need to come out. How does it feel <sighs> to be the fucking prey for once? Delicious. I'm, I'm still just going to try. I'm, I'm trying to find openings and panels. Yeah. Uh, you are you are sort of just tearing around this room. Uh, you're sli- you know, you're tripping over uh, over cables here uh, and you don't know where he is. He's somewhere there in the darkness. You can hear him. 
but he's everywhere and nowhere, and he's losing it. What um, do you do? Ollie's going to shine a flashlight around any time he says something to try to spotlight him. Yeah. Uh, so as as he says uh, as he says that last to Jackie, uh, Ollie, uh, you whip the flashlight in the direction that you think. Because again, he's also on the PA system here. So, but you think you hear an in-person voice, and you whip the flashlight in that direction. Um, give me a. I think this is a study roll. Uh, mm-hmm. You are trying to very quickly study the situation in here. Uh, you're down one. Yeah, I, well, I already have zero in that, so I'm rolling. Okay, with you can push yourself. Devil's bargain. Oh, fuck you. But also, fuck you, six and a six. It's not a critical because it's a disadvantage thing. But also, fuck wow. you. Wow, wow, two sixes on a disadvantage roll. Out of the curves table, two ones to two sixes. Uh, uh, Ollie, you whip the flashlight around to where you hear the sound and you see a guy. You just see some lanky skinny tall man uh dressed in in rags uh sort of a a thin angular face this sort of dark hair flopping over his eyes which are wide in absolute terror as the beam of your flashlight cuts through the brown fear gas filling this room and crane looks directly into the beam of the flashlight and says, you found me. And that is when the blacked out window behind and above you crashes open and with a (laughs) swoop of black fabric, a figure dives into the room slides across, grabs Crane by the lapels and like just shoves him, slams him up against the opposite wall. Uh, And Batman holds Jonathan Crane against the uh, the other the other wall. Uh, The dim light reflecting off the storm clouds illuminates the scene through the broken, blacked out window here in the top of the tower where you were. And Batman says, it's over, Crane. And you hear the HVAC system click on, the fans start whirring, and you see a bluish green gas start to fill the room um, sort of uh, wiping away the brown fear gas Um, you breathe in and you get this vegetal scent it's it's like uh, freshly snapped flower stalks and you can feel those sort of running fears that have been in the back of your head that you've been fighting against this entire time here in the dark as you were fighting against Crane start to calm and lessen and resume their sort of normal place in your subconscious as the fear gas antidote fills the room. Batman... Uh, still holding Crane, looks over to the three of you, somewhat worse for wear, and says, The GCPD will be here shortly. If I were you, I'd open that gate and get across the bridge before they show up. Where's my wife? She'll be downstairs. They're all waiting. Now get out of here. 
Yep. Maddie is launching herself to her feet very slowly. Don't have to tell her twice. <laughs> um, Jackie, before taking off, just stops and is looking at between Batman and Crane. He did something to my sister. I want to make sure he pays. He'll pay. I'll make sure of it. Reluctantly and with like great fucking willpower, she moves and and starts making her way down, hobbling her way down the stairs, holding her side and rubbing at the blood on her face. Yeah. And the three of you descend the staircase back down to the ground floor and you just catch this last glimpse of Batman holding Scarecrow up against the wall. Mm -hmm. And that's where we're going to end it. So thank you all for joining us here on Manipod Studios for Streets of Gotham. Uh, We run every other Monday. So (laughs) next week we're off and then we're going to have the last episode of this arc uh, coming at you in two weeks. Join us right here. In the meantime, uh, you're going to want to go over to youtube.com slash Manapot Studios where you can watch past games. Uh, We have... We are almost current. We're one episode behind on the VODs. So uh, if you are not caught up, you can go back and watch the whole series thus far. Fridays-ish is when we we get the VOD episodes up. We also have uh, past series up there, including the original Escape from Arkham series that inspired this whole thing. Uh, So you can watch that and see how we did it the first time around. Once again, I've been David. You can check out my tabletop RPGs over at dbb-8.itch.io, including In the Dark, which is the simplified multi-setting version of Blades in the Dark that we've been playing right here tonight. Uh, I'm also on Instagram and Twitter, at Brutman. And with that, I'm going to throw it right over to our players, get their final shout-outs, plugs, etc. Let's start with Pooja. Me. Hey everybody, I'm Pooja. You can find me over at Twitter at Pooja, at Pooja Barwaki, everywhere else on the internet. And um, my streaming schedule is fairly light, I say. Um, I'm here every other Monday. I am on Running Feywa, uh, Running Feywa on that one fun every other Wednesday, except this Wednesday, because I inherited tickets to go see Lizzo. So I gotta, gotta go do that. Um, Thursdays, a total party kiss. I'm in a brand new Percy Jackson long shot, uh, playing the child of the god Aristeus, who's the god of bees and honey and farming and I love olives. This. Basically, my character has a dope charcuterie board. Um, oh, yeah. It's really fun. Uh, it's very chaotic. It's a good time. And then uh, Saturdays, I'm on total party kiss again. For Strange Hungers, a D&D 5e queer horror campaign that has officially been on for over a year. So come check it out. Links to everything will be in my Twitter bio. Great. Uh, Hopper, what do you got for us? Oh, shit. Still me, still Hopper. Um, uh, You can find me around the interwebs at Fail Deadly. That is with a three instead of an E. Or you can uh, follow me under The Legend Tree, where I actually where I produce some of my own content. Uh, Currently, uh, we are um, we're running a uh, D&D 5e actual play, uh, usually the first Thursday of the month um, called Dark Visions. Not all monsters are from the manual. Uh, where some of the sweetest people I know play some of the most monstrous bastards you've ever met. It's a promoted home game that we want uh, that we're streaming to help me learn how to produce because producing is super fucking hard. That being said, uh, yeah. So uh, follow me over on the Legend Tree on Twitch uh, or on um, Twitter or Instagram. Um, but uh, other than that, you can find me right here on Manipod Studios. Um, every other Sunday, along with Marcy, on the award-winning uh, actual play of in, uh, Invisible Sun actual play, Hole in the Worlds. Um, it is a wild, 
insane, surreal experience as our characters are ooh, are are on this epic journey. Where um, oh, it's 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 real intense. It's and it just it never stops being weird. It never stops being weird, and it's such a cool system, such a cool setting, and uh, it, it's always a pleasure. And that's every other Sunday at eight p.m. on uh, or four thirty p.m. Sorry, I'm full of lies on uh, right here on manipodstudios.com. All right, Marcy. Well, hello. Uh, I have been Marcy. I'll continue to be her. She seems fun. Uh, I'm a, a writer and editor by day, by night. You can catch me right here playing characters with all these amazing people. Um, and yeah, Hopper covered Sunday, so I'll cover Tuesday. Uh, tomorrow, if you're not entirely sick of myself or Hopper, we are doing the final episode of our October flight, Gravedale High. It's been a lot of fun. We've been playing classic movie monster tropes set in high school. Uh, so a lot of a lot of teenage angst, a lot of comedy, uh, and I have absolutely zero clue what's going to happen. Uh, so join us. It's been a blast. Uh, and then we'll be getting right into our November flights and fandom streams, which is going to be X-Men themed. Yeah. And we're very excited about it. Uh, so stay tuned for when those air dates are happening. Uh, and, you know, find more of our videos on YouTube, check out our Discord, and let us know if you ever want to play games with us. All right. So that does it for us for this evening. Uh, thank you, as always, to the cast, as always, to everybody watching at home, everybody uh, participating in chat. Love to see what you're saying down there, even if we can't respond to it in real time all the time. Uh, but I uh, love the participation and the the quips very enjoyable uh and join us next time uh for again what i'm pretty sure is going to be the final installment of this arc of streets of gotham here on Studios. Sure. that's scary listen me. who uh, stuff could happen who knows don't worry about it we'll see you next time good night David, we know where you live yeah and you're you're invited over anytime no all right, love you all. Bye. <laughs>